Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to talk about arcs and central angles. Now, in geometry, when we talk about arcs, we tend to think about the size in terms of an angle or an angular size. In a lot of applications with arc lengths or with arcs, we tend to think of it in terms of arc length, the length along the side of the circle. And we'll address that later on. But here we're going to talk about arcs in terms of their size and angle. So here we have three different arcs. Here you can see that the distance from A to B along the circle, the edge of the circle, that's called an arc. And if the distance is less than half the circumference of the circle, it's called a minor arc. So if it spans an angle of less than 180 degrees, it's considered a minor arc. If, it, if the distance from A to B along the edge of the circle is exactly half the distance of the circumference of the circle, it's called a semicircle. So that arc, therefore, is then a semicircle. And if the distance is greater than halfway around, or greater than the total distance, or I should say, greater than half the distance around the circle, then we call it a major arc, and then it spans an angle of greater than 180 degrees. So how do we talk about the angle that it spans? Well, when we draw a line through the point A to the center of the circle, we draw a line from through point B to the center circle, that forms then an angle. The angle is then subtended between those two lines, and the angle, the the measure of the angle in degrees is equal to the measure of the arc from A to B. And so that's what we have right here. The measure of a minor arc is equal to the measure of its central angle. Now, why would we call that the central angle? Well, we call it the central angle because the vertex where the two lines meet, the point where the two lines meet, called the vertex, is at the center of the circle. And if that's the case, then that angle is called the central angle. We can have other angles where the vertex could, for example, be at the edge of the circle, or the vertex could be somewhere else besides the center of the circle, and then, of course, it's not a central angle. But if it's a central angle, then the angle subtended between the two lines forming the angle equals the angular size of the arc. And if it's expressed in degrees, for example, we could say that the measure, the measure of the angle, and let's call it angle 1, so the measure of angle 1 would then be equal to the measure of the arc. Now, how do we express the arc? Well, what we do here is to express in terms of the letters denoting the endpoints of the arc, A and B, and then we draw a little circular symbol on top of that to indicate that this is the symbol for an arc from A to B. So therefore, if we want to express the measure of that arc, we can write it the measure of the arc A to B like that. And we can then see that the measure of the central angle formed by that arc is equal to the measure of the arc itself. And that is how we express that. So now we know a little bit about arcs and we'll talk a little bit more about angles and arcs in the videos to come. In this video we're going to talk about the central... Take two. Take two. <laughs> Welcome to Electro Online. In this video <laughs> Take three. Take three. <laughs> You're not helping. It's supposed to be helping. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> this is not going to go well today. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. I was going to say. <laughs> uh, welcome to our lecture online. I need a drink. <laughs> 